become a member. Sign in and start streaming today. Well, it's time for a very fair part of the show, Disgrace of the Week, as always. Ms. Calhoun, please start us off. Well, we know we're heading into the election season, which is the only thing that maybe makes COVID-19 look like something you want to talk about. <laughs> we have the worst new ad already coming from the National Republicans. Talk about adding insult to injury. Erin Martinez, who lost her husband and brother in the explosion Firestone in 2017, now gets to watch her house blow up in an ad attacking John Hickenlooper. It's inaccurate. It's not like Gardner hasn't taken money from Anna Darko, too. They've asked for the ad to be pulled. The Republicans have said no. We don't need this in Colorado right now. And it's July. <laughs> David. Uh, last week, I, identified, I misidentified uh, Representative Leslie Herod by describing her as a state senator. She is currently a Denver Democratic state representative. I'm sorry. I was using a script from 2026 when she will be uh, undoubtedly a Colorado state senator or in a higher position. <laughs> Charter member of the Leslie Herod uh, uh, campaign. Very ni nice, nice uh, correction there, David. Eric, let's go to you. Hey, Leslie Herod may be in a position far higher than state senator uh, six years from now. We'll see. I don't know if this is a disgrace, but it's still something wrong. Jason Glass, the well-regarded superintendent of Jefferson County Schools, announced here in the midst of the probably the most difficult summer of any school district school superintendent that he's taken a job back in his home state of Kentucky. Sometimes when opportunity knocks, you need to not answer the door and stay and see the job through. Jason Glass should stay and see the job through in Jefferson County under the circumstance. Natasha. In a summer where we'd normally be watching the Olympics and celebrating all the ways in which the United States could be victorious and set goals and standards around the globe, instead we're watching uh, the country take the lead on COVID cases. Um, not shaming here. I hope anyone who contracts it um, gets over it and recovers well. But this is not the type of record America wants to be setting right now. Time to see something nice about somebody. Patty? We're heading into the great vast outdoors, as Governor Polis would want us to, up to Crested Butte, where they had to cancel the Wildflower Festival this year, but where the town of Gothic, if you've ever seen it, old ghost town, where they have a Rocky Mountain Biological Laboratory that's been doing great work since 1928, is just protected by a conservation easement. So let's remember there truly is a great vast outdoors and it needs to be protected. David. Representative Tom Sullivan, who has sometimes uh, sponsored some, some poorly drafted legislation, got signed into law some good legislation, but partly, I suppose, based on his experience as a postman, uh, to improve the, the mail-in ballots and say, for example, if the county's mailing some, a ballot to someone within 11 days of the election, they have to send it by first-class mail. Eric. A New York Times editor and writer named Barry Weiss, who resigned this week, writing a very powerful piece that viewers ought to go find online and read, criticizing the Times and journalism more broadly for a groupthink, for making some topics and some opinions completely off limits, for a level of vitriol internal to the paper that is unbecoming. It was a powerful piece, good on her, and go read it. Natasha. I may be repeating myself here, but I just have to say that since the pandemic started, I spent a lot of time interviewing small business owners, and I'm so impressed with the ways that they've become both public health experts, um, grant writers, loan writers, and everything in between to keep their businesses and their community uh, a vibrant space. So thank you to small business owners in Denver and Colorado. I want to say something nice about uh, one of our regular panelists who was with us last week, Joey Bunch, who uh, sadly his uh, nephew, his 38-year-old nephew, uh, lives in Alabama, uh, passed away over the weekend uh, from COVID. Uh, he wrote a very poignant article, a piece about this in Colorado Politics. If uh, you have not had a chance to check, check it out, please do. I think it's, um, it is an unbiased, nonpartisan, just uh, honest look uh, from an uncle uh, about his nephew and I'm in the midst of this, I think, and, and quoting uh, Joey from last week, uh, we don't need to be Republicans or Democrats, let's just be Americans. If you need some inspiration for that, check out his piece on coloradopolitics.com.